Neat. Do you ever have one of them days when something happens and then you trip over yourself and then you have to go to the Monokuma Rock because you have one of your friends has to be executed? Yeah, I hate those days. How's it going, everybody? I'm some guy named Nate, and it's time for Class Trial 3. This is going to be a big recording session for me, and I'm going to probably get a headache or a voice ache by the end of this. Half our friends are dead. So here's the rest of our friends. Everyone who heard the announcement had gathered in front of the Monokuma Rock. And soon enough, there he is. Is everybody here? You guys want to hear here? Then you go to the class trial. Hey, jerk! Hold it right there. What? Don't get in my way. You're just like a dumb little sister who's short a few brain cells. My brain works just fine. Monokuma, what did you do with Nekamaru? I see. So you've come to avenge him. Avenge? That sounds like he died. <laughs> sounds like you say. Oops. Anyway, since. Nekamaru is unfortunately unavailable today. Let's just say he's absent. Now then, I gotta go first. Yeah. Hold on, will you escape? No. Hey, did you hear what he just said? D don't worry about it. There's no way Nekamaru's dead. He's just trying to piss us off. Of course he's not dead. There's no way. Not in a million years. More importantly, the best way to worry about ourselves for now is if something happens here, every one of us except Nekamaru will die. No. Yeah. Why are you so excited about that? How about it? Who knows? Maybe I'm just looking forward to seeing poetic justice prevail. What are you saying, fiend? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. See? Then let's go. All right, let's hurry up and get this over with. Thank you, Akane. Yeah, you're right. Okay, guys, what I'm predicting, and I know usually your predictions are always wrong, but there's hardly anyone here. The only people that it would make sense that killed uh, fucking Ibuki and Hyoko would be either Makan. Sonya or Gundam since those are the obvious ones it's probably not one of them so we'll find out when we find out let's talk to our friends really quick and then we'll get on in there do I haven't been helpful at all I couldn't even figure out the estimated time of death I'm sorry I'm such a useless piece of trash you're okay Sonya what do you want to talk about Yoko must be it must be my fault after all in the end they must learn truth behind murder most foul now then let us proceed Thank you. Chiaki, what do you have to talk about today? Oh, she says nothing. Let's go. There's no time to waste. I know. It's sad, but we have to move forward. And then we need to end this once and for all. Okay. Yeah, you go, bro. Jeez. I already figured it, this out. Bleh. I already figured this, but it's best we don't rely on Monomi all that much. She's just saying stupid things that makes us even more confused. Maybe we should shut her up for good. Okay. I'm cool with that. Wife, what do you have to say? Hey, what are you whining about? Hurry up and get this over with already. And then we can greet Coach Nekamaru with open arms when he comes back. Oh, maybe Nekamaru did it and he's secretly just going to show up halfway through the trial. Hey, what did Monokuma mean just now? Don't tell me Nekamaru's already. Don't get distracted by Monokuma. We need to focus on the class trial. I know, but... Hey, Gundam, what do you have to say? Then we'll talk to Butt Munch Joe and then to the trial. Hmm, it is about time I showed my serious side. Jeez, how troublesome. But I suppose I can display my true power for sake of two fallen comrades. And Butt Munch, what do you have to say? Just as I thought, a particular incident, this particular incident. Oops, we can continue this later, right, Hajime? What's wrong with him? He's even creepier than usual. To the trees. Oh no, to the Monokuma Rock. It's gonna be like, rawr. That's what it says, and it's like, Kloh. it's like, bleh. And yeah, hooray. <laughs> we stepped into the escalator and ascended towards the gaping maw of Monokuma Rock, and that's when I suddenly noticed it. Noticed our lined up silhouettes getting smaller and smaller, but I can't turn back now. If I turn back, I won't be able to press forward. So guys, who do you think killed uh, Abuki and Hiyoki, 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 Hiyoki? I don't know, but I'm sad Abuki's dead. She was awesome. Shake, 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 shake. Yeah, look at that. There's only eight. Yeah, there's only nine people in this fucking elevator now. It's terrible. Nobody said a word. As we stood there trying to figure out what to say to each other, the elevator descended deeper and deeper and deeper. And it's going to click any, any minute now. Thank goodness. And when it descended as far as it could go, it finally stopped. Ding. The elevator door slowly opened, and all is most tantalizingly so. Light poured through the other side, and ro eroding the boundaries of the darkness. And I walked into that place. What does it look like now, everybody? Ooh, it looks castle-y. I like it. My, my! It feels pretty toothless with all these empty seats. Well, two people got killed at the same time, and Nekamaru's not here either. Is Nekamaru really not participating? If he's alive, you should invite him. Why bother? What? Now then, let's begin. It's beginning a long-awaited class trial. Please enjoy to your heart's content. 
See, I'm also kind of thinking that Nekamaro killed them, like, because he was obviously infected with despair disease, so it probably made him violent. And so the curtain of the third class trial is about to open. Buki Miyota, the ultimate musician who hung herself. She was really loud, but she was the mood maker of our group. When I was with her, all of my pain and suffering just seemed to melt away. And then Hiyoko, I don't really care. Hiyoko Sanji, the ultimate traditional dancer. Just from looking at her adorable face, you never knew she was actually selfish and foul-mouthed. But she was trying to change herself, and she was desperately trying to come to terms with Mahiru's death. And now they're both dead. The person who killed those two was amongst us. Duh. But not any of the dead people. I definitely can't believe it. Duh. Look at all those deadies. But whether I believe it or not is irrelevant. Because half my chums are dead. Unless I figure out the truth, I won't be able to escape from this hell. Then why must I find out no matter the cost? For our sake. For our friend's sake. For Ibuki and Hiyoko's sake, but mostly Ibuki because I like her more. Fade out. I just hope Akane didn't do it. I want Akane to live forever. And so, the curtain on the third class trial is about to open. This life-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, has begun. Yes. Cool and groovy. Let's just say over that one. Cool. I don't know if I have any new abilities. Oops. Said skills. Okay, yeah, I have a lot of points. I can only do downshift or upshift. Let's do trigger happy. Let's buy that one. Vocabulary, we'll buy that one. it will just make it a little bit easier. That's all I can buy. Cool. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's look at the handbook really quick. Okay, let's see. Truth for it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 fucking truth bullets. Want to come up file three, blood on the souls, blah, 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 blah. We'll get to them later, everybody. Maybe I can give somebody a present to make it better. Yes. All rise. Here we go. Time for listening. Let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. I've done two of these already. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. Who do you think done it, everybody? If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person... Then you're screwed. I will punish everyone besides the blackened. And that person will earn the right to leave this island. And they can leave forever and cancel the game early. Who cares about this boring explanation? Let's get on with it already. Sweet, what's going to happen on a camera? I'm the trial, but I don't really have a grasp of how the case played out. Um, yeah, you should know. Because I was asleep the whole time. Really? <laughs> Even if you do grasp it, you're just going to confuse the heck out of us, aren't you? Everybody execute Nagito. Nagito's not alone. I don't really get it either. Well, you're an idiot, but I love you, Akane, so it's fine. Your head's empty anyway. Oh shit, we know it isn't empty. Her something else. What's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with that, Akane. The emptier your head, the more dreams you can stuff inside it, you know? I do know, Akane. That's true, it makes sense when you say it like that with your boobs flying out of your shirt. Oh man, Hajime doesn't get it. Anyway, we shouldn't proceed with the trial if those two can't participate in the arguments. Chiaki, you're such a fun knee. Since he's the first witness, why don't we ask Hajime to explain the incident and the sequence of events? Um, okay. shit went real. Let's start with the end. Split into the hospital team and motel team because of the despair disease. And three people were acting the crazy. Of Nagito, Ibuki, and Akane, who were infected, and Mikan, Fuyuhiko, and me. Yep, yep. The other five in the motel team were myself, Gundo, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Hyoko. True. Spending the night at the hospital was prohibited, so Hajime and I had to sleep at our cottages. Thank you, Vihigo. You're the voice of reason, bro. And Makan was laying on top of me. But how she woke me up was by pressing her thighs against me. We immediately headed over to the hospital, and after we confirmed his recovery, then we fell over. I made Mikan rest in the on call room since she hadn't slept all night while I waited in the hospital lobby. And then she sleepwalked and grabbed my wiener. And then I saw the incoming signal light on the surveillance camera blinking before our scheduled time. And it was a bookie walking towards some gallows. The button to turn on the monitor. What appeared on screen was Hibuki. This. A video of someone wearing a hospital gown and a hip bag on their head, climbing a step ladder. A really rickety ass step ladder. Amazing. That's such a hard pounding story. And then what did you do, Hajime? I ran. I tried to stop them, of course. Ran so far away. I rushed out of the hospital and ran to where the video was being recorded. The music venue. And there was a bookie just chilling. But it was too late. 
Too late to apologize. Has it already happened? By the time I arrived, the person wearing the hint bag on their head was already hanging from the ceiling. Rip. A boogie was my second favorite. Right away, so I headed to the motel. The motel sex? Why the motel? Because I wanted some hot sex to recover from that. Because it was close to the music room. And unlike the hospital, there were more able-bodied people there. And there was Gundam. That's what I thought. The only person who came with me was Chiaki. So Chiaki's my friend. I remember feeling a little relieved because not long after, we met up with Mikan and Fuyuhiko. Look at how precious Chiaki is. Look at her face. We were also looking for Ibuki since she disappeared from our sight. And she did because she's dead. After I rested for a bit, are the lines through Ibuki's face drumsticks? Because that'd be funny. And then I noticed Ibuki was gone. So I sprinted out of the hospital. You know, Makana, I love you, but uh, you probably killed her. Coincidentally, I ran into Fuyuhiko. So I fled with him in various ways to see if he could help me out. What are those various ways you're talking about, Makan? Various ways? Yeah, Kazuichi's enthralled by those various ways. Don't say it like that and confuse people. Oh man, he's blushing. It was various ways. I heard from those two that Ibuki disappeared. I had a feeling she was the person wearing the hemp bag. And then I confirmed that. So I immediately led them to the music venue. But mm -hmm. the door wouldn't open. Since we had no other option, the four of us broke down the door. You're like smash. On three. That happened. We didn't just find Ibuki's body. We also found Hiyoko's. She was just chilling. Not just that. Her body was taped to a pillar. Now we can't go to the Titty Typhoon anymore. That's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Not once, but twice in a row. It was like ding dong dong ding. We decided to lower the hanged body, didn't we? Yep, we hit that button and she was like, Womp. Just as we feared. It was Ibuki. And then we all cried. So that's how the case played out. Thank you. I understood it very easily. Hooray! Well, it's clear what the problem with this case is. When Hajime left the music venue, who... Wait, how do I know anything Hajime just said is true? Because I'm the main character. You know, bitch. Sorry, I'm only being impartial right now. The story I just heard is clearly suspicious. You slept the entire time, butt munch. Hajime, if you're the only one who saw the hanging video, and the first one to discover Ibuki's body, then I'm the prime suspect. Lying as much as you want right now. I could be, but I'm not. Why would I lie? Because I'm a truth man. Obviously. So you could make us ignore what might be an inconvenient truth for you. And what would that be, bitch? You me? I, can you doubt me, bitch? I would like you to prove it. Fine, I'll prove it with my words, bitch. Come on, try to prove it to me. Prove you're not the killer. Okay, can do. <laughs> Just because Uichi said Nagito's the kind of guy who will confuse us and make matters worse. Damn it, I should have explained to Nagito. I'm in trouble thanks to that. Oh no! And no, guys, I'm not looking up any guides because fuck you! Motel Rukini, let's grab the paper. Surveillance monitor. Hajime's testimony is clearly suspicious. Hmm. Hmm. Mm that would also be a lie. I'm not a liar. I'm denying any possibility, bitch. I don't know why Hajime would arrive. Who said Fuahaha? No. The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie means it probably is Hajime's fault. Hmm. Crap. I'm not the killer. I should be a contradiction in there somewhere. I need to find that and break through. Okay, surveillance monitor video, movie invitation ticket. Oh, wait. You're right! I could just use my movie ticket and say that it was a one time punch. That would also be a lie. You know? I don't think I can deny that. After all, Hajime is the only one. Why would Hajime lie? Come on. Obviously, because he's the killer. Jesus. Hajime kill both of them? Yep. The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie. There you go, fucker. No, that's wrong. That was easy. Because my movie ticket says I saw it after everyone died. I didn't watch that fucking movie. I mean, there's no way I'd be able to imitate that movie. See, look at my movie ticket. Of course you're not. I already knew that. Shut up, bitch. Huh? Yeah, I know you suck, Nikito. Hajime had never watched that movie. 
His invitation ticket is proof of that. Yep, look at my ticket, bitch. Each person only received one ticket. And they're marked with a stamp that shows the date and time. See, look at that. Isn't that right, Monokuma? He fell asleep already, yes. probably. No mistakes there. Good job, Monokuma, being a bro. No I think Nagito's a spy. Who never saw the movie could commit murders that imitated it. Or he's just an idiot. Or did anyone tell him what happens in the movie? Of course no one did, right? The movie's so bad. Hold on a sec. You're the one who brought this up in the first place. Yeah, he just wanted to throw us off as we each grow. What are you doing? Well, being a dumb shit. Since we're opening with your witness testimony, I thought we should solidify the foundation. Solidify the foundation. What kind of warm up? What warm up? This isn't a game, you know. It's real life. Don't get mad. I just think warming up is really important. Especially since this isn't a game. No, it isn't. I didn't spend money on it. Well, I knew it would turn out like this anyway. What do you mean, Chiaki? Now then, since we know Hajime's testimony is reliable, let us move on to the arguments. Okay, argue away, Sonya. This means Ibuki definitely climbed the stepladder all by herself, right? Probably. Yeah, I'm positive. She was told to because she was mind wiped. Ibuki committed suicide. No, not necessarily. If Ibuki committed suicide. Then who killed Hiyoko? Somebody else. Hmm. A murder coincidentally occurring in the same place as a suicide. Ain't possible, huh? No, I don't think it is. Well, it might be Akana. You don't know. It's pretty clear what the problem with this case is. Yeah, who got Ibuki to kill herself? The killer murdered Hiyoko while Hajime was gone. Yep. So all we gotta do is establish who could have possibly done that. There's a lot of people who could have done that, yo. Let's ask Hajime. How long would you say you were away from the music thing? I don't know, like 10 minutes? Gone for more than 10 minutes. Wow, that was a good lucky guess. So they killed Hiyoko and taped her up within 10 minutes? There's no way that's possible. There is, this is possible if there's two people. Bum, bum, bum. That's why the killer stalled for time by making the music venue a closed room. Yep, yep. Hmm? What do you mean a closed room? It's a room that's closed. The killer blocked the venue door from the inside to try and keep us from entering right away. Yep, by putting a drumstick in the door. That door is the only entrance to the music venue, right? Correct, Sonia. If they blocked the, the door disco from the inside, the killer would not have been able to leave either. Yeah. yeah. You're absolutely right. So the killer hid and then was like, oh my god, I'm shot. When we broke down the venue door, the killer was still inside. Oh shit. <laughs> Yes, Macon, they were. That's the case. The only suspicious people are those who don't have an alibi for that time. Which are? And that's you two, Sonia and Kazuichi. I don't think either of them did it. Me too. Yeah. What the hell? Why's it gonna be us? Because you're trying to ship yourself with her. Get out of here. All have alibis. Look at my alibi. Chiaki, Mikan, Hajime, and I all broke down the venue door together. So we're all bros. Gundam met up with Hajime at the motel right before that. Mm-hmm. And if Akane and Nagito were laid up in the hospital, the only person that leaves is one of you. Oh shit. There's another person who doesn't have an alibi. You know, Nekomaru. Wherever he is. Me too! Yes, Monokuma, you too! Hey, why are you talking like... You're kidding, right? You're not up to something weird, are you? He's always up to something weird, Monami. Please stop making bad jokes. That's all he does. Anyway. If the killer was hiding inside the venue, we should obviously doubt the people who don't have alibis. Yeah. What a wicked way of backing us into a wall. Is this his professional skill? Yeah. The killer was inside the music venue. If he go, obviously thinks so, but is that really it? No. More twirling. Make my agreement. Room key, a thick of paper, step ladder, semi transparent glob. I think it's the glob. Inside the music venue. By locking the door from the inside, they tried to keep us from getting in. I think it's the because they didn't lock it; they put glue on it. You know? Magic. That door should not have had a lock. Yep. The lock was on the floor in front of the door. There's a secret door on the floor. About the broken drumstick. You can yeah. use that as a bolt to lock the door. Come on. By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside. They're all idiots. Gathered together and suddenly appear. Mm hmm. So they look like they had just rushed over. 
I have seen this in serial crime dramas. Thank you for not adding anything to that, Sonia. <laughs> that person's remark contradicts the truth. I should be able to prove that with my evidence. Okay, it's got to be the transparent glob. Inside the music bank by locking the door from the inside. They tried to keep us from getting in. It seems they were trying to stall for time. Okay, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. That door should not have had a lock. The lock was on the floor in front. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? Ugh! Crap, no! That broken drumstick was used to lock the door from the inside, right? But isn't that proof? Well, it's not like I know that the door was really locked or not. He goes the one saying it. No! I got hurt a lot. That did a lot of damage. Okay. There you go. There you go. That was easy. So it was globbed to Fuyihiko. I'm sorry, bro. But I gotta shoot you down. You gotta shut down, bitch. Because of the glob. With globs. Mm-hmm. Semi-transparent glob. Like rubber, maybe? Or flubber. It wasn't rubber at all. It's not glue, rubber, gum, a gummy. It was a gummy. A gummy you say I was not a joke around. Why do you have to mention gummies? You made me remember that. Oh no! I, mean, I was mean. So glue, rubber, gum. Glue. There you go. I was an idiot. But I thought it was candy. Yeah, glue. Because it tasted like glue. Yep, she's eating it again. Oh yeah, you're right. So it was. It wasn't candy. It should have been candy. Thank you, Chiaki. No, it isn't, Akane. You shouldn't eat it. No, don't do that. So as soon as they touch, then stick. Oh man. Well, explain the drumstick. But what about the drumstick? Yeah. Oh shit. What'd you say? First you, you heard her. Did that drumstick we found seem really obvious? Almost unnaturally so? Yeah. It was so obvious that it makes more sense to think the killer placed it as a diversion. A diversion, a white eye version. Are you saying the drumstick was a trap the killer set on purpose? Just for shiggles. Then I, I totally fell for that fucking trap. Or you killed her. Apologize to Miss Sonia and me. However, you're not allowed to slice open your stomach this time. But he likes cutting his stomach but open. I it's funny. Both sides are to blame. That's why it's better to just have no sides at all. Like a circle. So, during the ten minutes Hajime left the venue, the killer murdered Hiyoko and created a closed space. Yes, Gundam. That's what I'm saying. Taped her up after killing her, right? That's some skill. Even quick work has limits. Mm-hmm. Oh, what unimaginable speed for a slow poke like me. Stop beating yourself up, Makan. They couldn't have done it while Hajime was away from the venue. Mm-hmm. They must have done it earlier than that. When I was running earlier. When Hajime got to the venue, only Ibuki's body was there, right? Yes. And when you went back with everyone else. Kyoko's body was there too, right? Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's possible that the body was just revealed at that time. When Hyoko was actually killed early. Ooh. Was revealed? Maybe. Of course, the body wasn't revealed on its own. The killer did that too. Oh shit, are you the killer Nagito? I have proof. Ooh, it's the paper. Hmm, that scrap of paper. Is that what we found in the baton lighting at the music venue? That your dark devas of destruction brought down? Ow, my foot! It's a scrap! That scrap was stuck to the baton lighting in the music venue. Now I should be able to figure out what it is. Easy. Okay, Hangman's Gambit. Yes! That's the easiest one. It's wallpaper. That's gotta be it. Okay. Beep! Beep boop! Easy. I'm gonna save these letters for later. Or not. 
Gotta get all these A's out of here. Gotta get no. Gotta get all these A's out of my system. Okay, here you go. Come on. <laughs> Fuck. We're good. An NRP. Come on. Come on. Come on, hell. Oh god. Got an L. Damn it. Damn it. Where are the R's? There you go. Get out of my sight. Thank you. Easy. I was scared for a second, guys. I was gonna fuck up. I like the skiing one. The skiing one from the last class trial was really fun. I hope they bring that back for this one. Yes, it was. Whoa, just right there. Except it was. There was also a tear along the edge of the wall. Must be. If so. If so. Right. You overlaid a scrap that was caught on the lighting, a tear in the wallpaper. And then, oh no. It fits perfectly. Huzzah. <coughs> so we brought the whole roll of wallpaper to the trial. That makes sense. And now it's not. Does it have something to do with Yoko's body disappearing? No, Akana, you're an idiot. Yeah, you will. Yeah. But if you guys were exceptional enough to identify that scrap of paper, you can figure this out easily. Yeah. Scrap of paper, paper stuck to the baton lining was part of that wallpaper I found in the storage room. It's connected with the sudden appearance of Kyoko's body. I trace it back from there, it should be able to come clear. All right, let's give this a try. Oh dear. What's this one? Logic dive. Okay, yeah, it's the snowboarding. Okay, we got this. Three, two, one. Here we go. Okay. Please the D-pad. Let's accelerate. Oh no. Can I jump? Yeah, I can jump. I'm stupid. Go through here. Go through here. You have to get it in the time limit too. Okay, we're good. We're snowboarding like a champ. You guys should have made snowboarding video games. Question one. Where did Hugo's body sound? It was brought there or it was hidden? Um I'd say it was brought there. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. Nope. There you go. It was hidden. Yeah. I was right the first time. At least it's multiple choice and it's pretty easy. Woo! Nice. There you go. Oh dear. Oh shit. And we're on a really thin line here. Hold the line. Do 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 do. Love isn't always on time. Do 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 do. Ding 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 ding. Question two, bitch. Question two. What did the killer use to hide Kyoko's body? A uh, curtain or the wallpaper? Um, a curtain. I'm just guessing here. Please be right. Please. I was wrong both times. Damn it. So they used the wallpaper to hide Hyoko? What the hell? And there's three questions in this one. That's fine though, I can die. As we'll get more health back when we get questions right. Oop. We're only one cube thick. Okay, we're good. Back over here. Turbo. Oh dear. I'm scared. Woo! That was metal. We getting all the funky moves. Nice. Question three. How did the killer hide her body with the wallpaper? Formed a wall or covered it in the pillar? Um, covered it in the pillar. Please. Yeah. It was blue all the time. Huzzah. Nice. Okay, there you go. That was fun. Where did the Hyoko's body appear in the crime scene? It was hidden. It was hidden with the wallpaper. They covered the pillar with wallpaper. There you go. Got it. Flawless. Who knew? Was hidden before we found 
We will see, look, it's true. It would have taken quite a long time to tape up a hidden body. That's why they didn't tape it. The body was already taped up and the killer hit it, along with the pillar using the wall. Damn. What? They hit the pillar? They hit the entire pillar. By wrapping the wallpaper around the pillar, the killer was able to create the pillar on the killer. Pillar. Oh man. Whoosh. So when I first discovered Ibuki's body, Kyoko's body was already there. Oh shit. However, because it was concealed within a slightly larger pillar, I didn't realize that at the time. Oh damn. Good detail. It makes sense that you'd notice Ibuki's body right away. It was all hanging there and stuff. So they used the baton lighting on the ceiling to hang the wallpaper? Yes, yes. Whoosh. The baton lighting forms a perfect circle around the pillar. So using it to hang the wallpaper totally fits. Indeed. The reason the wallpaper was covered in so many stickers is to make it look like that pillar. Yeah, ooh, that's weird. That's why the stickers are missing as well. Oh shit. Man. Which was stuck up in the rafters. Yep, yep. Ow, my hair. Risky boots. The crime itself would be much easier to pull off since they don't have much to do while Hajime's gone. Exactly. They just have to peel off that wallpaper and stash it in the storage room. It's not that big of a deal. Then they can just run away. When was Hyoko actually killed? Who knows? Probably yesterday. And on that note, it's about time we shed some light on those imitation murders. Uh huh. Um, you mentioned imitation murder more than once. But what is that? Uh, it's when you kill someone for shiggles. You haven't seen my masterpiece? The Wizard of Monomy 2.5D? It was great. Hey, don't put my likeness in your movies without my permission. You were in there anyway, Monomy. I'm sorry. Pretty noisy for someone who eats moth balls. Whatever moss balls are. Eat moss balls. I just enjoy looking at them. And then eating them. Oh shit, who saw the movie first? Matches the scarecrow's death from the movie. But then someone got chopped up. But Hyoko getting taped up after her death matches the lion's death. So what about the tin man? As if both crimes were replicas of scenes from the movie. Although the mutilated tin man was omitted. And that's Nekamaro. Why did the killer go to all this trouble in the first place? I don't know. Based on what we know. The reason the killer chose these imitations isn't that difficult to figure out. Because they were, they thought it was funny. The reason the killer imitated the two victims in the first movie should be able to play. So their accomplices escaped to hide the weapon to mix up the killing order because they like movies. Um, shit. Uh, to hide the weapon. Maybe the killer committed an intentional murder. Why would they do an imitation murder to hide a weapon? Duh. Yeah, I know. Everyone's looking at me. Um. I'm just gonna say this because fuck you. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I can die once or twice. Now it's a 50 50. So their combos escape to mix up the killing order. There you go. Good. Whenever it's a 50 50, I always fuck up. The killer imitated two of the murders from the movie was so he'd mix up the killing order. Yep. Then. Kyoko was actually killed before Ibuki? So it's just like the fucking Justice Hammers from the first one. Valid line of reasoning. The hammers of justice. Yeah, it's valid. The condition of Ibuki's body suggests that as well. Yeah, but who got chopped up? It was Nekamaro. I don't know. If you're going to cry and beg like that, then I guess I'll hear about the condition of Ibuki's body. Yep. I'm not even crying. No tears from Chiaki. I'll let you sob as much as you want later. Just hurry up and tell me before I change my mind. Get out of here, Gundam. Shut up. Sure, with four E's. Oh, I see. You want me to explain it to you, right? Because you don't understand what I'm saying, right? Oh shit. An even bigger jerk? Impossible. It's a jerk off wall. Ibuki died because she hanged herself, right? Yes. That means when she was still alive, her feet were touching the floor. Mm hmm What's wrong with that? There's blood on her shoes. It seems Ibuki was still standing when Hyoko was killed. 
There's blood on her shoes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How light. Your words are so light, as light as the silk's feather. How light is the silk's feather? <laughs> your opponent is out of your league. It is too absurd to try to perplex me so inadequately. You show my dad. Man, he's being annoying again. Everyone's annoying here, you fucking Kazuichi. Have a soda. First and foremost, you claim Ibuki's feet were touching the floor when Yoko was killed. Yes. How can a low-class creature with no psychic abilities like you know something like that? There's the blood on her shoes. She's doing something that's only possible if her feet were on the floor. Smearing blood everywhere. It seems you suffer from a pathetic delusion. What kind of delusion, Jimmy Gundam Tron? You're one to talk. Yeah, pointing fingers, yelling. Anyways, we're going to be talking, going to be going in circles. Best to clarify Boogie's status when Hyoko was killed. Uh, I bet it's going to be her shoes, because that's the only thing I can think of. Blood on souls, yeah. 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 Okay, here we go, going to shoot your shit. Boogie's feet were on the floor. I am telling you to present your evidence. Did you see her walking? Yes. If her feet were on the floor, was there any sign she stepped on something? Yes. <laughs> I agree with that. Hooray, we're buddies. Blam. Continue this freaking debate. Get out of here. Just as Sonia said, Ibuki stepped on something. And that something is blurred. That something was blood. Blood stains on the soles of her slippers. And dogs barking in the distance. That is not Ibuki's blood, right? She suffered no external injuries. Yep, she just broke her neck. And it's Hiyoko's blood. It's everyone else's blood. Hiyoko's only wound was a fatal slice on her neck. And she died almost instantly, right? Yep. If Ibuki stepped on her blood... That would mean... I'm so sorry about my dogs, guys. It's terrible. Was still alive at the exact moment Kyoko was killed. So there was a big pool of blood everywhere. Oh yeah, shut up, Gundam. I'm gonna slice your shit. <laughs> Is that it? A shepherd dressed in his Sunday's finest still reeks of lamb, Hajime Minata. Don't say my name like that. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Yes. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? That's a good one. Yes. What? Are you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed, you know. I don't believe your shit, Gundam. You're so frightened, you can't even make a sound. It seems you've realized our difference in status. Doesn't matter, bitch. However, the time for conviction starts now. You better entertain me to the fullest. I'm gonna kill your hamsters. Get out of here. Hey, rebuttal showdown. Let's fucking slice this shit. Uh, rope used for the, the, the step ladder. You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belong to Hiyoko? Ha! Impossible! There you go. Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood on the floor. You can't step on blood that was never there. <laughs> Just about to see a nice nightmare. Man. Well, I didn't advance. As far as exaggerating protests, I feel like I've already seen the opening encounter. This is crap. I'm just gonna fucking slice everything. There you go, crap. Fuck. Out of here. Shit, okay. You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belongs to Hiyoko? Impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no. There you go, fuck you! That was easy. It only took me three attempts, but there you go. There was blood on the floor because somebody tried to clean it. They scrubbed it. The reason there was no blood on the floor is because the killer wiped it away afterward. See? Don't say such foolish things. You don't have proof of that at all. It's right here, bitch. I do. You look close. There's a streak on the floor where blood was wiped away. It's all smeary. When the killer tried to hide Yoko's body, they probably cleaned the blood at the same time, but... But it was... there's too much. Yuki must have already stepped in it, and the killer probably didn't even realize it. And then they were like, oh no! The reason they wiped off the blood on the floor was so we'd mix up the order of the murders, right? Yes. 
Whoosh. Even if they're able to hide Hyoko's body, it'd be bad if her blood was left out in the open. It would be everywhere. Her body was left out in the open, and it wasn't bleeding from any open wounds at all. True. But Hyoko was. was probably wrapped in duct tape to stop her bleeding. And she's still laying there. Whoosh. Actually, the bleeding will stop once the heart stops beating. So I don't think they had to go that far. They went even farther, Mikon. Aside from Mikon, none of us were aware of that fact. So the killer probably did not know it either. Oh yeah. Maybe the was running inside the music thing so it would screw with Mikon's autopsy? Yeah, that's something completely different, bro. That's right! I didn't know the time of death because of the fever! You're okay, Mikon. Oh, someone will object. True. It appears that it is wiser to retreat for now. Yes, it is, bro. Fine, then. But regardless of good or evil, there's no deceit in upholding one's convictions. What do you mean? Can't you just shut up and back off? Back off! Now then, let us resume our debate. We'll resume our debate on the next installment of Dagon Rampa 2. We're going to do another big episode and then a movie-length episode and then... Tomorrow we'll record normal length episodes because the trial will be over and we'll be on chapter four. So I'll see you guys in the next part of Digging Rumpa 2. We're going to finish this up. What plot twists are going to happen? Who killed those two? Hopefully it was a dude. Hopefully Nekamaru's fine. If not, uh, maybe he got chopped up like the Tin Man. I'll see you guys in the next part of Digging Rumpa 2. Thank you so much. Bye.